Color Line paints, made in Switzerland, were introduced in 2013 and were one of the first ready-to-use glass enamels on the market. Currently, the line includes 36 vibrant colors, four metallics, plus a number of accessory products. The product is suitable for painting, line drawing, airbrushing, screen printing, stamping, and many other techniques. Color line paints are not only used on glass, but are also great for ceramics. All products are 100% lead free and food safe when fired. In 2016, Colorline added a special line of silkscreen pastes. They are a mixture of lead-free pigments and a water-friendly medium. The pastes are designed to have the perfect consistency for screen printing. The pigmentation is extremely high, delivering a strong color mark even in high-resolution or hairline imagery. The current palette consists of nine colors plus a special mix white to create lighter shades. The colors are all freely mixable, enabling you to obtain a multitude of new and highly individual colors. For example, if we take some yellow and add a very small amount of aquamarine, the result is a fantastic lime green. Screen printing is easy with this special screen. You do not need a screen frame on hinges or liquid emulsion. This screen is already coated with a water-soluble UV-sensitive emulsion. To transfer your image to the screen, you expose the screen together with the image to UV light. The process will be shown in a later section of this video. An unexposed screen always needs to be stored in a lightproof envelope. The typical mesh count is 110, which is perfect for using color line paste. The original sheet size is 8 by 11 inches, but you can cut it to the size you need. Another plus is the fact that the screen does not have to be stripped after use and can be kept for future repeat applications. The infrastructure you need consists of very few items. Other than the screen and the color line pastes, you need a UV lamp, a washout spray nozzle, a washout board with magnetic strips, a squeegee, a spatula, plus ordinary masking tape. Of course you need access to a kiln to fire the paints. Your image can be a template from cardstock or paper cuttings. Even a natural leaf will work. Most typically, a transparent film with the printed image is used. You can also hand draw your image. It is important the image is totally opaque and the background is fully transparent. When printing, always select the darkest setting on your inkjet or laser printer. Black is print, meaning that the black areas will be screen printed. When exposing the screen, always work in a darkened environment free of UV light. Have your UV lamp ready. Remove the sleeve and place it so that the inside of it is facing up. First remove the transparent protective film from the screen. Place the screen with the matte side up on the sleeve and position the image in the middle. Wrap the sleeve around the drum and position the drum. Now, turn on the UV lamp and expose the screen for about four minutes. The exposure time may vary with different types of UV lamps. The 
The exposed screen will show a yellowish ghost image of the design. The rest of the screen has turned blue. Place the exposed screen in a bowl of lukewarm water and soak it for a few minutes. The bowl should be covered so that the still photosensitive screen is protected from the light. After a few minutes, the image will start to become clearly visible. Now you can start with the washout process. Clip the screen down with a magnetic strip and then spray the screen with water to wash the emulsion off the image area. You do not need a high pressure washer, but a fine spray nozzle is necessary. Keep spraying until the image is totally clear. Dry the screen using tissue paper or a kitchen towel and then hang it on a line to dry completely. Now you are ready for printing. Clean your glass with glass cleaner. Fasten it down on the table using folded or double face adhesive tape. Place the dried screen on your print area and fasten the upper edge using adhesive tape to fashion a hinge. Using a spatula, apply a bead of color line paste on the upper end of the screen. Position the squeegee at a 45 degree angle and pull it towards you using even pressure to pass the enamel through the screen. Lift the screen carefully and examine the print. You can repeat the printing process if necessary. Let the printed glass dry. You can air dry or use a hair dryer or fan to accelerate the process. The firing range of color line products is quite wide, ranging from 1310 degrees Fahrenheit to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. The following chart will give you the parameters of a typical firing. Make sure to have your kiln vented up to the temperature of approximately 1200 degrees Fahrenheit to allow the medium to evaporate. For a matte result, keep the target temperature below 1350 degrees Fahrenheit. For a more glossy effect, increase the temperature to 1365 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. If you plan to full fuse your piece, Fire the screen printed layer at a lower temperature and then cap it with clear glass and bring it to a full fuse temperature. As the temperature range for slumping glass is similar to the lower temperatures for color line paste, you can achieve the slumping and the paint firing in one go. If you plan a multi-layer piece, fire each layer separately before finally stacking them into a block for a subsequent firing. For the top layer, use an unprinted sheet of glass capping the project. On the Color Line website, you'll find a list of distributors and stockists in different countries throughout Europe and overseas. Bullseye Glass carry all Color Line products and sell them in the US and Canada directly or through their distributors. Color Line is open to discuss distributorships in areas not yet covered. Get in touch with us and have a great time discovering all that Colorline Paints can bring to your art glass projects.